She held her hands tightly as she welcomed her new daughter-in-law to the family. That's when she noticed the strange birthmark on her hand. Her whole body froze. She looked into the eyes of the lovely young lady who was ready to marry her son. Her heart hammered in her chest when she noticed the familiarity between them. A 64-year-old woman named Martha Kenny from Fargo, North Carolina was overjoyed. She was getting ready to celebrate her son's wedding. For the past four years, she hadn't seen her son. It's been nearly four years since he uprooted to New York for professional reasons. His profession was quite time-consuming, so he rarely got the chance to see her. Martha knew how much his job meant to him, and she was only concerned about his well-being. New York is an expensive city, and she didn't want him to have to worry about that aspect of their trip together. Mark told her he'd found a new girlfriend in New York and asked her out. His success has made Martha ecstatic. She'd soon find out, though, that there was more to their connection than she'd realized. Even though Mark's phone calls were treasured, Martha wished they'd occurred more regularly. But when he called to tell Martha that he'd proposed to his girlfriend, she couldn't control her enthusiasm. She worried herself sick about what to wear to the wedding for months before realizing that the dress was the least of her problems. Mark told his mom the wedding was in Fargo, and she was happy to know that she wouldn't have to fly out to New York by herself for it. On the morning of the wedding, the happy couple flew from far away. Martha had taken her time that morning getting ready since she wanted to be picture-perfect for the wedding. At the reception, she met her son and his new wife shortly after changing into her new dress. She had no idea what would happen next. Martha was finally going to meet her future daughter-in-law for the first time. Even though they'd spoken on the phone before, they'd never actually met. There was no way she could have kept her emotions in check as she made her way to the event. It'd been a long time since she'd seen her son, and she embraced him with all her might. Her pride in the adult her son had become was boundless. Until Holly came in, that is. Holly was greeted by Martha, who gave her a hug and took her hands. She greeted Holly into the family with a voice as warm and inviting as honey. But when she was having this conversation with Holly, she saw something that made her feel sick to her stomach. Everything she knew was about to change drastically. An unusual birthmark appeared on Holly's hands, which caught Martha's attention. Its unusual form made it impossible to ignore. All of her senses numbed out. Her expression contorted in terror, and Holly inquired if she was okay. She collected herself soon enough to say, Everything's okay, sweetheart. Something was obviously wrong, though. Years ago, Martha had seen a birthmark much like it. It was exactly the same in every way as her biological daughter, who had been before mysteriously vanished. Her mind flashed back to the time when her daughter went missing. Martha greeted Holly with a friendly grin. She looked at Holly's face intently, hoping to find some clues. Maybe Holly's the daughter she thought she'd lost all those years ago. Martha couldn't help but notice how much she resembled her son's fiancé the more time she spent gazing at her. Martha's heart was racing, but she tried to talk logic into it. She attempted to convince herself that her supposition was completely absurd, but she couldn't shake her intuition. Time's run out. She started to think that maybe Holly, her son's fiancé, was actually her long-lost daughter. In any case, she required evidence. She had to be sure her concerns weren't groundless before she could risk ruining the entire wedding by speaking up. It was her son's joy that she was going to destroy, after all. Exactly how people would respond was something she couldn't predict. She needed to know, though. Martha formally introduced herself to Holly's parents by asking if she might meet them. They would be the ones to know the real story if anyone did. Holly had taken her over to meet everyone so they could formally introduce themselves. After a cordial hello and goodbye exchange, Martha asked Holly's parents to step aside so she could have a moment alone with them. Martha was stumped as to how to phrase her inquiry. She wondered what Holly's mom and dad would think of her once they found out. Even so, she felt compelled to inquire. She'd grown weary of waiting for an answer after all these years. She took a deep breath and made up her mind that she didn't give a damn about what people thought of her. She couldn't afford to dally. Trying to tread lightly, she asked them if their daughter was adopted. There was an instantaneous shift in facial expressions. They never told anyone about it. They exchanged puzzled glances, wondering in silence whether or not to tell her. Despite her pleading, Martha was caught off guard by their refusal. The truth that Holly was adopted was finally shared by her parents. No one knew about it, not even her. They questioned Martha on her motivations for the inquiry. Instead of answering, Martha urged them to tell her about the adoption process and whether or not they were familiar with her biological parents. 
Before speaking, the couple exchanged worried glances. Over 20 years ago, they found a youngster wandering the streets and brought her in. They took her in and cared for her after no one came to claim her. They treated her like a daughter and made sure she got a good education. Even when she heard it, Martha couldn't believe it. She suddenly started crying. Martha had been worrying that her daughter had been abducted or worse the entire time. The thought of being adopted by a wonderful family who would then raise her with kindness and compassion was unthinkable to her. Holly's parents said they'd inform the appropriate authorities in their area about their daughter. A broken Martha couldn't believe that no one had made the connection between her missing girl report and their statement. They were completely unaware of the presence of an observer. Holly joined a nearby group of friends because she was curious about the subject they needed to talk in confidence. She inched forward, closer and closer to her mother and father and Martha. As she listened intently to the talk going on among her friends, she nodded pleasantly in agreement. To a limited extent, she was able to understand what they were saying. Their voices were hardly audible as they hushed each other. She has no idea she's adopted, Holly overheard her mother say. When Martha said, I think she's my biological daughter, she overheard the woman sobbing. Twenty years have passed since that trip to Alabama, and I've never been able to track her down. Holy cow, Holly's mom exclaimed. Holly's head jerked in their direction. She looked at Martha with wide, shocked eyes. Tears began to well up in her eyes. As she got closer, Holly was unhurried. She turned to her parents and questioned whether or not the rumor was true. Both of them, including Martha, looked at her in disbelief. She'd not planned for her to learn this way. Holly's parents shared their thoughts. We uncovered you while strolling the streets of a rundown Alabama hamlet. No one showed up when we were seeking for your parents. Her mother sobbed. We just couldn't leave you. Holly looked at Martha blankly, perplexed. In return, Martha continued to stare at her. Both of them had tears in their eyes at the unbelievable finding. But that wasn't the end of the day just yet. The awkward silence was broken by Holly. After she got over her initial astonishment, she gave in. The impossibility of the situation caused her shoulders to slump and her arms to open. Martha followed suit and the two women hugged one another tearfully. Isn't there anything she can do for her son? What about the wedding? The surprise and emotions felt by everybody involved made for a heartwarming reunion. The happy couple were able to proceed with their wedding, much to everyone's relief. But how? Amazingly, neither Mark nor Holly had any kind of genetic or blood tie that would have prevented their wedding. If they had, their wedding wouldn't have stood because the union was illegal. What exactly prevented them from being related? Fortunately, Mark, Martha's son, was adopted. Martha was heartbroken when she couldn't locate her daughter, and after much soul-searching, she decided to adopt a kid and provide a loving home for another poor youngster. Mark and Holly had one major distinction in their upbringing. Mark, in contrast to Holly, was always aware that he was adopted. Martha made up her mind to always be honest with him and treat him as if he were a biological son or daughter. She was a wonderful mother and a remarkable human being. To what did he respond, though, when he made this unbelievable discovery? Mark and Holly were shocked to find out they were not related, but they were relieved when they learned this. The affection they had for one another overpowered any rumors. In time, they reframed the strange occurrence as a tremendous boon for Martha. Both Holly and her adoptive father were curious about the circumstances surrounding Holly's birth. It was as if Holly had no recollection of it at all. She remembers her upbringing poorly, despite being just two years old at the time. The events of the previous day were often lost on her. But Holly and Martha performed DNA testing to confirm their link. The findings backed up their suspicions. But one query remained unanswered. Holly, who couldn't recall her biological father, questioned Martha about his disappearance. Martha broke her heart by revealing that he had died over a decade ago from an illness. Holly felt an even deeper sense of gratitude to her adoptive parents and for their quick action in locating her birth mother after hearing the news. A joyful ending was reached for this family. Well, friends, that's the end of this incredible story. We hope, as always, that it's been to your liking. If you liked it, give us a like, leave us your valuable comments, share on your social networks, subscribe to our channel, and activate the notification bell so that you're always notified when we have a new video, and in this way you don't miss any of our stories. For now, we only have to invite you to join us in the next one.